welcome back to my channel i am miss lauren lee 11 and today i'm going to be giving you something that's been highly requested since i've done an esco texturizer gel video you guys wanted me to do the full wash and go and that's what i'm going to be doing today so let me just take out my hair my hair is washed and conditioned so it's still damp but i don't like to use this gel on in fact i don't like to use any gel on soaking wet hair i just find it just does not work for my hair so let me just show you the product here it is, I haven't even opened it yet guys, it is sealed if you can see that. S Curl Texturizer Styling Gel. And I'm gonna go ahead and rip this cellar tape off right now. I'm not using a leave-in guys because I find that this product moisturizes, sorry, moisturizes, I can't, who am I talking today? Moisturizes my hair enough for me to just use it by itself. Wow, they really wrapped this up good. Bear with me. Okay, All right, it's coming off. Okay, ah, okay, there you go. All right, so as you may have seen from my last video, there you go. That's what it looks like, it's blue, but it turns transparent when you put it on the finger. Has a slight hint of blue. Anyway, so I'm gonna put it on my hair as I usually do. Um, it's gonna be a very quick video. I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like with the gel on it and once my hair is fully dried. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort this out. There's two reasons why I'm not putting leave-in in this. The first one I mentioned is because I find this gel moisturizing enough. The second reason is because I find it doesn't mix very well with other products. I've mentioned in my last video that it's not very wet. It's more of a jelly, jelly type gel, but it gives great definition. See, it's bringing out the definition already. What I'm gonna do for you guys today, I'm gonna give you an added bonus. I'm not gonna do one side and then come off camera. I'm just gonna sit here and do my entire head on camera.
guys so this is one side done so this part is dry As you can see it's still got a great shine great definition I'm going to carry on the other side I did have to reapply it again on my edges just because my hair is very curly at the front I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out if it's going to be fluffy or if it's going to stay like this let me just carry on with the other side Right guys, <laughs> I know I said I was going to do my hair on camera, all of it on camera. My arms are getting tired, I'm going to need to take a rest. I'm going to do this off camera because it's just a bit long sitting here. I will show you once it's all applied and then once it's all dried. Alright guys, so I'll see you soon. Okay guys, so the application is now complete. I've finished the application as I've almost finished the gel. This was one tub of gel guys, look how much I've had to use. So I've used, let's say, two thirds of this. Um, my hair at the moment and my hands feel a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky. Let me show you the back. Okay, um, I'm hoping my hair is gonna become voluminous, but if not, I think I can zhuzh it up. I'm gonna let it air dry. That is it guys, so thank you for watching this part and I will see you in the next. Hey guys, so I'm back now, this is the next day. My hair is fully dried and I have a nice little hole to it. I've got major definition. The shine guys, you have to see the shine. This shine is ridiculous. And this is solely with the s -Curl Texturizer Gel. Now, let's start on the positives because we want to keep it positive, don't we? We want positivity. What I really noticed with this gel is it defined my hair like no other. Now you've mostly seen my videos where my hair is, it just usually looks like this in a wash and go until it's buffed out. But there are certain parts of my hair I'll have to redo with the gel once my hair dries because the gel just doesn't uphold the look. So this s -Curl gel, one application guys. Look at the definition. These are my trouble parts. These bits at the back, for some reason, so you can see my roots. I didn't put too much on the roots there. But as you can see, these parts would usually frizz up like my roots. Let me show you. Can you see that, guys? The definition is crazy. I'm super impressed with this. I literally, this is the first gel hair product, whatever, that has managed to de define the back of my hair so much. And now my hair is uniform with the rest of my hair. I usually have to go in back with the gel, as I said, or another product, just to, to get some type of definition and less frizz. Now I haven't got a bit of frizz in, but I think that's where I put my hair up in a bonnet, as you can see here. But that's nothing I can't fix. Nothing I can't fix. I love it. I have got a cast on my hair. Um, the only thing that I will say that is not so positive is that I'm feeling I may get a little bit of flaking just through, not too much, 
but just through what I just done there I can see little bits but it's not too much guys I definitely definitely recommend this gel now I think some of you were asking me how it is for laying edges and this is it it didn't really uphold my edges it's not actually it's not too bad not too too bad I was expecting it to do a bit more and I think that's where I went wrong that's my expectations it actually it actually it was okay this side not so much because my bonnet was just rubbing on that but that's fine I mean I can just go back in with some eco with that but look at that guys it's not that bad I've, I've seen gels that do worse it's kind of crunchy but not crunchy in the sense that it's like an eco gel cast and the reason why I keep referring back to eco is because I know it's quite a popular gel and I'm giving you something to reference too so yeah let me just quickly show you the back and the back did take the longest to dry as my hair usually does let me show you the back and that is it so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments questions leave them down below guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one